Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So as you know, I've had this scooter for about eight years. So it's time to see what's the durability of the scooter and plus how good is it in protecting me? So I'm gonna use a couple of different um, methods, scientific methods and attempt to see how good this eight-year-old scooter can protect my body from anything injuries any injuries so either way if it does protect me from any injuries gotta wear a helmet safety first so a number of different methods i'm going to use is a crash test a fall test and then a bones test so let's get started with the first test so the first test will be a normal crash test. You're going fast, and then you just randomly crash into a wall, or in my case, a couple of rocks. So I'm gonna record it in slow-mo, and let's see. First, I'm gonna set up the camera. Normal speed, in three, two, one. Another test, the downhill test. So, um, I don't have hills in my apartment, and the closest hill is about a mile away, and I could get the cough cough if I go far. So, I'm just gonna go down these stairs, but not me. I'm just gonna test the durability of the scooter this time, not how well it will protect me. Because one, I don't wanna get flagged on YouTube, for dangerous things and two i don't want to die so this is how it's going to be planned out i'm gonna point i'm gonna put the camera here and then i'm gonna drive the scooter and then once i come to the stairs this i'm gonna let the scooter jump off and see how good the durability is of it all right so i'm gonna go around real quick here we go three two the screen my mom is gonna be pissed all right that's the downhill test the good thing is she has a screen protector so i didn't break the screen i just broke the screen protector but it's cool i could just buy her another one at the store so that's all good as long as it's not the screen yeah it's definitely the screen protector definitely not the screen um but still not good because my mom's gonna be really mad so okay now I'm going to do another slow-mo, crashing into the rock again, but this time in a faster speed, just in case it's like you're walking down, and then, yeah, you're like riding your scooter, and then you're going to crash into the rocks, and you're coming fast to see how well it will protect me from that, so let's do that. Alright, next test, so I double-checked because I'm pretty scared, but it's a screen protector, so I only have to pay like 10 bucks to replace it. Instead of paying a fortune just to replace the whole screen. I actually... Yeah, it is a screen protector. It's mostly cracked right here where I'm touching. But it's cracked everywhere throughout. Because the scooter hit on impact. And the scooter's made out of metal. So, just... Thank God. It's just a screen protector. And not just like the computer that I got from my school. I dropped it and the LCD is completely broken. So, at least it's not like that. It's just a screen protector. All right, calm down, calm down. So I'll let you guys know uh, how it goes after I'm done filming, and then I'll just give you a moral of the story. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have it set up now. I'm gonna go from there, and I'm gonna crash into here again. Okay, I'm gonna crash into the rock in three, two, one. I almost fell forward. No damage. 
damage at all to the scooter. This is like damage that's already been there. Or if it did get damaged, I can't tell. That downstairs one was not a good idea. <gasps> it went, it hit like this, like right there, boom. You guys probably saw it on camera and then the, the video stopped abruptly. Okay, so now um, we should get to a couple of dangerous, no, not dangerous, a couple of more real life instead of totally um, on purpose crashes first off let's say you're driving your scooter around and then you just try to swerve but then you crash into the rocks so we're gonna do that test now kids while you're watching this please don't try this at home and especially don't record it because your mom is gonna kill you if you guys break her screen protector so yeah just don't try this at home i'm doing this with a helmet and someone's over there watching me so I don't know if it's a creep, but <laughs> I'm protected by a helmet. So, morals, just don't try this at home. I'm only doing this for entertainment purposes only. All right, so the swerve test, I'm going to go around like that, okay? Here you Frick. Ow. Maybe the phone is not going to be the only thing that broke today. I feel like I'm going to keep breaking this phone by accident, or I'm going to break a limb or the scooter. Whichever comes first. But I know that's what's going to happen. So, what's the bonus test? The stare test. What if your mom is angry? And I'm actually going to make this into a reenactment. Let's say your mom, and this is based on a possible true life story. What if your mom is so mad that you broke her $40 screen protector and she knows that it's because of the scooter. Then she goes to the balcony and drops your scooter. So I'm going to reenact it. Luckily, I already told my mom. She was okay with it. She just said, don't do it again. So, still not not based on a true story. Yeah, it could happen. Smashing. Nah. But I'll still title it for content. <sighs> and so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank God my mom didn't kill me about the screen protector. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.